Hi everyone, this is going to be a quick video on the current divider rule. Uh, first off, I'm going to find the total current in this simple circuit. First, you have to find the, as we learned in the last video or two, sorry, the second video, you need to first find the equivalent resistance of the circuit. In this case, because we have two resistors in parallel, the 15 and the 20, we can use the parallel resistor shortcut to find the, its equivalent resistance and the equivalent resistor that we find from that shortcut will then be in series with this 10 ohm resistor. So plugging this into our calculator, if 15 times 20 divided by 35 plus 10, which gives us an equivalent resistance for this circuit of 18.6 ohms. So finding the current from that equivalent resistance, we have 20 volts over 18.6 ohms, which is 1.08 amps. So the 1.08 amps is, if we look at our circuit, that's the current flowing through the power supply. So it's 1.8, um, sorry, 1.08 amps there, and also up top there. What we're trying to do with this example is find how much current after reaching this branch point here flows through the first branch through the 15 and then flows through the second branch of the 20. Let's call this I2 and the first branch I1. Current divider rule is this here. I1 equals I times R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So if we want to find the current flowing through the first branch of 15 ohms, we look at the second resistor, which is 20, multiplied by the total current flowing into the branch, and divided by the total resistance, R1 plus R2. So let's plug in the numbers. I1 equals what we found is 1.08 amps times R2, which is 20, divided by R1 plus R2, 15 plus 20 is 35 ohms. So I1, just plug this in, times 20, divided by 35, 0 0.62 amps. So the current flowing through our 15 ohm resistor, our first branch, is 0 0.62 amps. The current flowing through I2, or the 20 ohm resistor, will be the difference between the two. So I, I power supply, or I total, equals I1 plus I2. That's the basis of the current, Kirchhoff's current rule. I'll just write that down. Kirchhoff's current law, where the current flowing into a branch will equal the sum of the currents in flowing through each individual branches. So I total, or I power supply, or I will equal I1 plus I2. If we were to, if we wanted to solve for I2, then we could just rearrange this equation to get I2 equals I minus I1, which would be 1.08 minus 0 0.8. 6.2, sorry, I'm sort of running out of space here. 0 0.62, which is 0 
six amps. So I2, 0 0.46 amps. I1, 0 0.62 amps. Adding them together is the total current I flowing in and out of the branch. That's a key point to make. The current flowing here back through the power supply is exactly the same current as flowing from the power supply. That'll do it for the current divider rule and Kirchhoff's current law. The next video is just going to be working on some examples, bringing together some of the concepts that occurred so far.